This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, sir. 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 Good morning, uh, you would be given a chance to raise your queries or any doubts you have. Please do that because we disturb the session. And welcome you all. Welcome you all to the College of Pharmacy, Bengaluru. So this is a session which I'll be presenting. As uh, the end of the month, session by our Lord. Uh, I'll be discussing a little bit of academic issues, what uh, we'll be encountering quite, quite frequently. So the content of the session follows. So I think uh, students are not in uh, from all the schools, maybe either from diploma. Sir, your voice was not clear, sir. Voice is not clear? Yes, sir. No, sir. Your voice? Not no, sir. The voice for name, sir. I think there is a network issue at your end. Is it fine? Hello, sir. Sir, do one thing, sir. Sir, mute all of us. Sir, you only speak, sir, please. Yes, sir. Mute oh, everyone, sir. Yes. There is a disturbance. Yes. Sir, mute all of us, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so the contents of the presentation, uh, I know that uh, students are there from all the streams, either it may be Diploma, B Farm, M Farm, as well as from the students. Okay, to begin with, uh, and diploma is just to know the whether which system they come under. So the diploma, the D farm course is for a two year two year annual system, whereas a B farm is four year semester system, and M farm is two years semester system, and farm day is a six year annual again. So these are the streams and students. I hope students from all the streams have joined the presentation. I'll be focusing the presentation, or the focus of the presentation will be mainly on the internal examination what you're having or the sessional part, sessional component what you're having other than the main examination. And along with that, I'll be discussing like the governing bodies under which we come, that is the PCI and AACT. And I'll be discussing more on the student support system. What are the student support system uh, existing in our institute or what we have it in place already before you people come and uh, focusing more on the last component that is the training and the placement because most of you will be interested to know uh, whether the regarding the placement part which uh, most of you as well as your parents will be worried about so coming to uh, this uh, d farm that is the diploma in pharmacy it's a two-year annual course and this is the breakup what you can see where the sessional component is 20 marks for either a theory or practicals from each subject and uh, uh, with what you can call it as three periodic uh, sessionals which are conducted during the academic year and the aggregates of two will be considered 
uh, as the sessional mark or the internal marks along with your main exam that is what is known as the 80 marks which you got to answer so that is uh, in brief about what you can call it as diploma in pharmacy component and it's a two-year annual system and the b farm system b farm and we follow the pca syllabus like many other colleges we follow the pca syllabus and it's a credit based system uh, four year actually and uh, these are the breakups for what you can call it as either the theory or the practicals i have done portrayed them separately so in case of theory uh, the sessional marks is total for uh, what you can call it as nearly uh, 25 whereas wherein the breakup again the continuous mode that is continuous evaluation you'll be having during the theory uh, that is for uh, 10 marks and 15 marks is your internal examination or the whatever uh, it, it is the sessional examination along with your end semester which is for 75 and the breakup for practicals is slightly different it's now your practicals uh, is for 50 marks 50 and wherein the exam is for 35 and five will be the continuous mode of evaluation regarding i'll again give you the details of what will be the continuous mode if you people are doubtful and the sessional or the return test will be for 10 marks and the end semester is 35 so it totals to around 35. so this is what is the what you can call it as continuous mode of uh, scheme for awarding the assessment or uh, the sessional marks uh, we consider everything or everything everything is credit based credits are given to attendance as you can see the marks for attendance is there and uh, in the theory as i told you the marks for other academic activities other curricular activities will be there such as quiz as well as assignments you do have marks so assignments are encouraged and even a test and group discussion that's one more thing what people do and along with if somebody is very interested or somebody is eligible to give a seminar they are uh, most welcome to give a seminar other than that the way how you interact with your teacher also matters and that so total component of all this will be around 10. regarding the practicals also the attendance carries marks and uh, the, your practical record as well as the regular viva voc that is what you usually face routinely which is done that is for three marks and the total is for five marks so that is regarding what you can call it as a b farm uh, semester system for four years and uh, uh, to be uh, very frank with you uh, ours was the first university if i remember who started with the semester system much before than the uh, sorry, much before than the pci pci prescribed syllabus and these are the guidelines for allotment of what you can call it as the marks for the attendance that is a percentage attendance uh, for theory it is slightly different and for practicals it is slightly different and at the end as you can see two sessional exams periodically are conducted for theory and practicals and the theory sessions are conducted for 30 marks and computed for uh, 15 marks plus the continuous assessment mode what i already explained is for 10 marks and so it totals to around 25 marks out of the 100 marks what you can see what i have listed out very clearly Similarly, the practicals, as I told you, the, uh, for the sessionals will be conducted 40 marks, in fact, and uh, computed usually for 10 marks, with five marks for your continuous mode, which totals to around 15 marks. That will be your internal internal examination component out of the 50. And finally, the average of two sessional exams will be computed. So that is a clear-cut idea for the marks, uh, marks a lot. And this is regarding the attendance. And finally, as you can see, uh, the class is based on what you can call it as CGPA, what is known as cumulative grade point average. That's what, and that is almost uh, zeros down to your percentage itself. So somewhere around 75% and above, it is something like, a, uh, if you're tall, you're getting a CGPA of 7.5 and above, it is a distinction. And for the first class, it is 60% to 70%, or in other words, CGPA 6 to 7.5. And the second class, uh, as you can see, the CGPA between 5, that is a CGPA of 5 to around 6, that is 50 to 60% can be considered as second class. So this is the way in which uh, the marks are, or the CGPA is allocated. And regarding the MFARM system, as you can see, 
again the theory and practicals there is a slight difference the way the breakups are done theory as you can see 75 marks is the main examination and the continuous mode is for uh, uh, 10 marks evaluation along with the sessional for 15 marks and again the computation i'll explain in the next slide what is that and for the practical mode you can see the main exam is for 100 and the continuous mode of evaluation is 20 and the sessionals that will be conducted will be for uh, will be considered for around 30 okay and end semester as i told you is for 100 this is applicable to mfarm first and second semester whereas so the scheme of awarding the marks this is what is a component is very clearly indicated finally as you can see two sessional exams will be conducted for theory of practicals and the sessionals are conducted for as you can see in case of theory for 30 marks and computer for 15 marks okay and uh, the 10 marks is for continuous mode so totals to around 25 the practical sessionals are conducted for 30 marks 20 marks allocated to your continuous totaling to around 50 marks so again the average of two sessional exams uh, will be computed to your end. one second and again there is a slight disturbance and just uh, yeah So these are guidelines for the allotment of marks for the attendance, somewhere here. So MFARM third and the fourth semester, again, it is slightly different. For example, as you can see, okay, uh, uh, the breakup is slightly different. Research methodology, there is a subject called research methodology, which is an internal examination. That is what, what you can call it as 25 marks. And there are some something called journal club presentation, which you are supposed to present. Okay, the work which are already published in journals. That is why it is called as journal club presentation. For that, the way you present, the way you integrate things, that is for 25 marks. Whereas the dissertation presentation of your own, that is you need to do a project uh, at the beginning of the third semester as well as in the fourth semester. So that will carry the dissertation presentation regarding your progress of your own project okay that is for 50 marks and regarding the final semester that is the fourth sem mfa the journal club presentation will be around 25 marks whereas the main component will be your dissertation presentation this is in brief about uh, what you can call it as the internal examination mode for all the three streams all the four streams okay and that, that all the three streams and this is the farm d okay the here the breakup as you can see the sessional is for 30 marks for each theory or practicals and the practical sessional is 20 marks and the day-to-day -day assessment of the practicals carries nearly 10 marks and three periodic uh, sessional examination will be conducted during an academic year and the highest average of any two examinations will be considered finally so the main exam is for 70 and the sessional is for 30. So this is again FMT is an annual system for the six years course. So as I told you, the governance is very important. Okay, we are governed by two bodies, that is PCI, that is the Pharmacy Council of India, and AACT, that is All India Council for Technical Education. So AACT, as most of you know, like uh, like other engineering colleges, pharmacy is one of the mm -hmm. department which is which comes under AACT. So AACT is responsible for quality assurance in education through accreditation, monitoring, and evaluation. So under AACTE, because we are one among the few institutions which are still continuing to remain under AACTE because of the following reasons. One is better prospects for funding in some of the areas. We've got a lot of funds through AACTE and we anticipate much more to come. Okay, and more importantly, it and ensures or assures better job prospects uh, in public as well as private sectors. That's one more uh, big advantage to stay under ACT. And the last uh, biggest advantage what most of you, especially people going abroad, can see is that approval by ACTA helps to gain a global recognition. That's very important. 
especially for students which are who are going abroad and these are some of some of them i've listed student support system principles are has already highlighted the other support systems what are existing in the college other than that going into a bit of details these are other uh, what you can call the support systems or the helplines what you can call for the students one is the student grievance cell what is already in place other is career guidance cells which is again a part of what you can call as training and placement cell okay other than that more importantly we are uh, involved in mentorship support for especially things like skill development personality development and wherein uh, you fine tune your skill sets as well as soft skills and training and uh, the most unique uh, thing about our college is that we also provide what you can call it as an incubation support within the campus itself to so somebody having a wonderful idea okay which can be commercialized any of the graduates post graduates or even the diploma students okay uh, they can get incubated in house okay and float a company that's the biggest advantage what you people can avail okay you are free to avail those benefits whatever said and done regarding the students grievance cell so in our college we already have a well defined okay and dynamic cell to address the student grievances okay to so timely address and resolve these are some of the functions which are already in place responsibilities which are already in place to timely address and resolve the student grievances in the campus okay it may be any matter as principal sir has already told to resolve the academic and as well as administrative issues which a particular student is facing regarding the transport or the hostel facility or the teaching or the learning process anything it is okay student can access an immediate hassle hassle free online resources to reach out to the grievances to get the re uh, grievances redressed or resolved so the grievance boxes other than the online mode the, there are grievance boxes for students which are readily accessible in all floor of the institutes which uh, uh, the students can always uh, drop in their grievances students have access as i told you to access the technology and that is online resources to express their grievances and one important thing is no grievances will go unheard by the management and maintaining the confidentiality of the student that's very important and we also have a strong mentor mentee interaction okay that is put into routine practice okay and finally the mentorship support what we have the incubation uh, facility is sponsored by our karnataka government that is karnataka rajya vignana parishad okay that is about the what you can call it as the one of the student support uh, system what we already have okay other than that the most uh, important component uh most important sorry, the most important component what we have is a training and the placement cell okay a very dynamic okay training and placement cell is in place to train as well as upskill and place outgoing students in different forms of companies as well as the business some of the responsibilities of the training uh, and placement cell or as below to provide information on various career various careers uh, career opportunities for the outgoing students and also to arrange what you can call it as industrial training programs and industrial visits okay and counseling on students on the various career options which are available in india as well as abroad okay and organizing pre placement talks personality development skill development programs to train the students so they will be in a better position to face the interviews and to organize many pool in interviews for example we have been organizing many pool in interviews from different companies especially to name some i'll be uh, having uh, some of the companies which have come down here to conduct the uh, campus interviews that is a pool in drives where students from uh, have a chance students from other colleges also have been invited uh, to participate in the what you can call it as a pool interest and finally we maintain the records of the recruiters as well as the training and we also have something to stimulate or promote incubation and entrepreneurship encourage students on this aspect uh, so that uh, they can float their own companies and initiate their own ideas that's a very good option what any, any person can take it up okay 
So training and placement cell, and this is how it functions. I pictorially try to put it across like this. So training and skill development. So these are the various uh, modules on which we have been working. One is on career guidance, the other is training and skill development. The other is placement assistance or inviting pool in campus drive. And most importantly, in this college, we have a alumni association also, where alumni who are, who are placed in very good positions and who are put up in different uh, places of the globe, okay, or world are there. And so that is what I've named it as robust alumni network. So they can help you, in fact, to for your placement also. And along with that, we have an incubation cell or an incubation facility at the college, which is in-house again, as I told you. So uh, we are multidimensional, as you can see. Networking is so good in a college, so that eventually a particular student is better placed, uh, is ensure 100% placement uh, before he goes out. And now coming to the training components, uh, what are the mandates? Uh, So the training for the D farm, uh, a, a student must undergo. This is a mandate as per the uh, university on the PCI. A student must undergo 500 hours of practical training spread over not less than three months. In these particular domains, what you can see: stocking of drugs and medical devices, inventory control procedure, handling of prescription, as well as dispensing and patient counseling. Dispensing, you're supposed to spend around 250 hours. This is a mandate, what you can see. And training for B-Farm, this is now what is the training component. Each candidate is required to work for at least 150 hours, spread over four weeks in any pharmaceutical industry or hospital, depending on his area of interest. Okay, some people may be interested to get into pharmaceutical industry, whereas a good a sizable population of students may be interested to go to the clinical side. So accordingly, they can choose what you can call it as their uh, area in which they want to uh, go for training. So the training can be done either in a production unit. Again, there are different domains, which I'll be highlighting in later in the presentation. Uh, they can go for a production unit, quality control department, or a quality assurance department as well as an analytical laboratory. And even some people can come out with a wonderful idea of going into a pharmaceutical R&D. Even the, there are a good number of R&D laboratories which are there. Hospital pharmacy, especially as I told you, those who are interested in some clinical pharmacy or community pharmacy. And even you have a chance to do your training even in a clinical research organization or what they're called as CROs. Okay, so all, along with this, we also have uh, a wonderful practice school session and that is there uh, of nearly 150 hours in the seventh semester uh, which equip you better equip you to undergo uh, before you undergo or before you take up an industrial training so this is the training component of the b farm what somebody has to undergo uh, regarding the family training uh, it's the hospital training or the clerkship each student shall be posted in the constituent uh, hospital for a period of not less than uh, 50 hours, uh, which is in not less than 200 working days in second, third, and fourth year. And the project work or internship uh, is done in hospital or a clinical setup for, for five years, for five years, in the, in the sixth year, sorry. And, uh, and these are the agreements or what you can call it as permissions, blanket permissions, what I can call it as, with reputed, okay, uh, pharmaceutical industry, uh, which are already in place. <laughs> so you can just walk in. So the, that's to facilitate either your industrial visit or your industrial training. 
to, to enable your uh, teaching learning process. And uh, we have got associated with what you can call it as Aster. So the MOU we already have with the Nostra Hospital, Kaylee and Astral are going to come out with a big hospital in Bangalore. And so we have been associated with them. And the MOU is already in place for your hospital training, clerkship, as well as the project work. The MOU for mentorship, that's what, as I told you, the mentorship guidance can be provided by at the incubation cell. This is what I meant. Okay, is provided by the Kathat Karaja Vignana Parishad for the mentorship and the incubation support, which is already in place. So we invite uh, any student who want to become an entrepreneur, entrepreneur to take it up in this direction. And uh, these are some of the opportunities for uh, what you can call it as uh, our pharmaceutical students at pharmacy, a person who has done a pharmacy. So it's uh, usually I can call it as uh, sky is the limit. And uh, as you can see, there is a galaxy of opportunities uh, for pharmaceutical uh, professional. There are opportunities abroad. Again, uh, there are n number of opportunities ab abroad. Okay, and there are opportunities in uh, production and manufacturing, marketing, intellectual property rights is one of the domains which is an upcoming area where uh, any uh, any pharmacist or uh, professional can get involved. Other than that, it is routine analysis and testing companies which you can get into, or a bulk drug industry or a herbal drug industry. That's one more thing. If this is one more interesting domain. People can get into what you can call as regulatory affairs. And even people are interested in the clinical side. Okay, they can get into form for vigilance and drug safety. Uh, people who are interested to become teachers, okay, can get into academics. Or R&D is one of the big uh, domain into which uh, anybody who especially has done as masters can get into. That's an important domain. Other than that, uh, quality assurance is one more. And hospital and community pharmacy, especially, yes, either uh, PharmD students have a very wonderful opportunity in Bangalore. So there are a good number of companies in uh, Bangalore, and there is a huge opportunity for most of them who complete uh, what you can call this pharmacy right now, especially um, considering the COVID-19 pandemic. So when it comes to companies placement, these are the companies which have already visited our campus. Huge list of companies, huge list of database we already have. And as you can see, uh, many of them among this, if I remember, Mylan Industries, for example, which is located in Bangalore, has already come, uh, conducted two, what you can call it as pooling campus interviews, along with even Abut was one of them, if I can remember, Accenture Bangalore has been uh, routinely coming. Biocon and its divisions have already visited our campus. Sipla is one more. And Covens, for example, uh, last year, I think uh, there was a huge, huge recruit to Covens. Uh, that again is a multi-domain company which are into multiple things and indigen life systems is one more company bal pharma is again another uh, what you can call it as a company which is belonging to the micro group as people would have heard it micro labs okay bal pharma is the division of micro labs neon laboratories is one more apotex research private limited this was one more company a canadian one uh, which have visited our campus and even uh, GSK Healthcare was one more, even one more company. The Himalaya Drug Company has recruited a good number of our students. So, and even US Vitamins and Quintiles who are into clinical research, uh, they have recruited our students. So, AstraZeneca is one more. Centur Pharmaceuticals, Novartis, okay, and even uh, something like VNI Training. There are consulting companies which also have recruited uh, students from our college. Uh, Syncrop, clinic care technologies was one of them. 
and Geltech Innovative Healthcare uh, is one of them. So our alumni is, are, we have been present in all of the, all these companies and they are free to reach out uh, to the alumni as well uh, so that uh, they can help out in you get a better position, get a better pay. That's what I can assure. Once you join the college, uh, I don't remember anybody going jobless till now. Okay, there will be assured almost 100% placement, which you can see in the placement record, uh, which has been, uh, that's a uniqueness with uh, our college, as you can see. So this is the placement data of the last year, a pictorial representation, which I thought I'll depict to you. Okay, almost 60% of our students went for higher studies. Mm, that is what you can see there. Okay, and only 30% was the placement last year. So majority of your students, okay, either B farm, okay, or even M farm for that matter, are one for higher studies, either with reputed institutions or any of the reputed universities abroad. So the amount of students that are willing to pursue higher studies is quite high, quite well accomplished. That's the thing. And company placement also, as you can see. Uh, the best part is many of them join the companies and uh, then later on switch on over to higher studies. And uh, this is the placement data of the previous two years, as you can see, okay. Around uh, uh, 17, 18, this is the year, what you can call. Uh, the company placement were 51, whereas the higher studies were 42, whereas in the previous year before that, 48% were went to higher studies and 39% was the company placement. So nearly more than half of the students usually go for higher studies, either to a reputed uh, uh, uni Indian uh, universities. Example, many of them have gone to Naipur, different Naipurs now. For example, it may be Mohali, it may be Gawati, it may be Hyderabad, so on and so forth. Many of our students have joined BITS, okay, which again, and uh, many of them have gone abroad, yes. Uh, you can all, the entire database, you can find it with our alumni association. So you can reach out to any of them uh, through your email or your phone number, okay? And uh, so that they can help you to better place. That's what will happen, okay? So what are the opportunities? This is a concluding slide, what I thought I'll put up. So what are the opportunities or what are the uniqueness the students can avail uh, after having joined our college, okay, yes, and this is what I could uh, list out here, few of them. Principal sir has already uh, highlighted all those things. So at Kelly College of Pharmacy, Bangalore, we always consider student fraternity uh, to be the key stakeholders. Okay, you are a good stakeholder, you are very important for us. And uh, so there is a huge scope for your continuous overall improvement. Okay, the improvement never stops. That's what I use the word continuous overall improvement. Okay, yes. And uh, there is a lot of freedom for students to get involved in value added skill development programs. Okay, you can fine tune your skill. Okay, for example, you can go out and uh, get skilled with different equipments. Okay, Bangalore is a big hub where uh, many of the prestigious institutes, I don't know whether you've heard of IAC Bangalore, Okay, it's listed as uh, one of the best uh, institutes uh, in the world. I see Bangalore is nearby, two kilometers, and there is something called Raman Research Institute that is also nearby. There's something called Jawaharlal Nehru uh, uh, of uh, Center for Advanced Research, which is nearby. So you can make use of all those, you can visit all those, nobody is stopping you. Okay, so freedom, uh, the freedom is given to all the students. Along with that, you can do some value-added internship programs, clerkships, and uh, there are a good number of uh, industrial uh, industries also, pharmaceutical industry, biopharmaceutical industry, where any person can get involved in industrial training programs. That's the key. The location is very strategic. That's what uh, Bangalore makes a difference. And Kelly University, uh, College of Pharmacy will try to give its maximum. And students are free to involve in some social activities also. Those who are interested through our NSS uh, of our college 
which has been uh, recently, which has been, uh, we have been awarded the state award of uh, being the best uh, NSS unit in the state. Okay. So these are the unique opportunity for the students, which many other colleges may not have. That's what I'm trying to stress and tell you. So we have to make use of your best. We are always there, okay, to reach out. That is the uniqueness of uh, Kelly College of Pharmacy, Bengaluru. Okay. So any uh, queries in spite of this, uh, you can please let me know. Yeah. And you can unmute them. Yeah, four has a doubt. Can please uh, unmute. Four has a doubt. Anybody having a doubt? Yes. Sir. Yes. No doubts from your side regarding the placement, training, anything, any programs? No, sir. Hello, yes. sir. My name is Viraj. Yes, sir, can I know whether whether no, sir. Is yeah, yeah. So, may I know there are any cultural or literary activities present? Yes, sir. Did you say literary activities? Yes, sir, like debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are encouraged to participate in debate and always uh, <laughs> you are sent to other colleges also for participation. If there is an other college, we have our <laughs> parents. That is Kelly, Kelly College of uh, Pharmacy, Belgavi. Sorry, sir, you are a bit inaudible. Am I not audible? No, sir, there is uh, other disturbance. Yeah, maybe the uh, number of people have unmuted themselves. I think. Dheeraj, you can speak. Dheeraj, you are able to hear me? Yeah, yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. There is ample opportunity for you in any literary events. Nobody is stopping you. And in fact, uh, you there is a huge encouragement in the college if you want to participate in those events. And there is absolutely no. And uh, you can uh, go to any other colleges for an intercollegiate co competition. Uh, okay. So we'll nurture students who were good in those directions. And, uh, what about no sports, sir? Sports also, sports days will be conducted, sports day, okay, sports week will be conducted. We hire a ground, in fact, to conduct all those events. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Anyway, it will be addressed separately, okay. Uh, my subsequent speakers uh, uh, will be addressing each of the component, what you're asking, uh, separately. Anything pertaining to my domain, which I completed, you're free to ask uh, those questions. So will there be companies from foreign coming for uh, campus recruitment? No, there will be multinational companies which are coming, which are again foreign based. That's what I mean okay. to say. Yeah, understood. Yes, yes and our students, many of them have settled uh, abroad. Okay, either through, through quintiles, for example, one of my students I still realize whom I have thought. Okay, finally went to Singapore because he was recruited here at the college uh, in quintiles. But later on, uh, he migrated for higher position and finally is posted in Singapore right now. It's like that. Okay. Yes, sir. So now the companies, uh, they have a global uh, extension. Okay. So they are in multi countries. That should not be a problem yes, for you. Mm. So can I have an idea about what the starting package might be after graduation? Which graduation you mean to say? Farmd, sir. I'm from Farmd. Uh, Farmd. Okay. Uh, maybe around four lakhs. Okay. Yes, sir. Yeah. Give me. Yeah. You can easily expect, especially in pharmacovigilance and uh, drug safety. 
okay approximately because uh, this our field is something like uh, what you can call it as there is a study income but there is no job job loss that's what is a uniqueness of uh, pharmacy that's what will happen okay not like an it where they begin high and your job is so insecure so here performance as you perform uh, i think uh, there is no stake to your job that's what i feel that time yes sir yeah thank you yeah 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 thank you. so yeah yeah sir classes will be conducted like this or uh, as for it is the online classes all the students are mixed up here no 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 class classes will be conducted separately for each class i mean to say b farm is separate b farm first year is separate second year is separate something like that okay Okay. Now, now what's happened is for the induction program, all have been pulled together. Did yes, I answer your question? Right. Did I answer yes, your question? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Sir. Sir, what are the social activities we go through in NSS unit? I think the NSS, I think the officer, she has a session subsequently. He can. Uh, uh, yeah you will come to you have to uh, i think they were able to adopt a village that's what uh, if i remember and they get involved in the uh, blood donation camps uh, all such events okay she'll be capturing nss in greater details okay fine thank you sir i think almost one week i think they'll have the complete social activities yeah sir can you brief sir Campus, yeah, about yes, campus, sir. Uh? Brief about campus. Yeah, yeah campus. We have a wonderful campus which is centrally located in Bangalore. We have a metro connectivity. What else you want? Okay, and we have a, a bus transit routinely from the hostel. I think principal sir has already briefed you. Uh, hostel to the college. Thing is, we have got the metro connectivity. Uh, very close to the campus. Labs also wonderful labs. Okay, state of art labs, and we have a state of art pilot plan to tell you. Okay, which make use of this industry like come and have a look. Uh, are you convinced? Sorry, nineteen. Hello. Is there canteen, yes. sir? Yeah, it's there. It's there. We do have hostel as well as here outside. So when Thank are you going sir. to start uh, offline classes, sir? Yeah, Can the I... next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately, online classes are going to start immediately, almost. Off, sir. Offline, offline, sir. Offline, offline. Yeah, yeah. Offline will be later. Online, we are going to start very shortly. It will be intimated. We'll get the intimation. We'll get the timetable. Everything is chalked out, and it will be sent to you. So when what about textbooks and all, sir? Uh, it's there. Library, it's there. Okay, whenever you come here, or we can online. If you're still online, we can share the presentations. Whatever we do. Okay. Till then. That can take uh, uh, take care of. And uh, me, we can also we can also send the soft copies. That's one more thing what we can do. Sir, the books. Sir, it will be really helpful if we share the soft copies. It will yeah, be a PDF yeah, format. Yeah, to do that. Yeah. Whatever soft copies are available, our teachers will do that. Just can do. That. Yeah. No. Yeah, Kirti. Yeah, ma. Hello. Sir, when can sir? we expect our online class, sir? Okay. It depends on the government directive, university directive again. As soon as uh, people will be are comfortable, uh, I think uh, the offline classes will start. 
Excuse me, sir. Yes. So, what's up with the industrial training program? Industrial training? Yes, sir. Yeah, it, you can do it anywhere. Okay. This is a place also. It's fine. Or you can do it in Bangalore. Not a problem. Bangalore, again, you have a good number of pharmaceutical industries. Okay. Depending on your industry, you can either do it in industry or a good R&D lab or a hospital. People who are interested in the clinical side can go to an hospital. Or others can get into a production unit. Was I Excuse me, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir. Yes, Nishwan. Is the tutorial classes? Hello? Excuse me, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Sir, is the tutorial classes are provided separately other than other classes? Could not get you. Which classes you mean to say? Sir, tutorial classes. Yeah, tutorials are tutorial classes, sir. Yes, yes, tutorials are conducted separately. But during tutorials, I think you can get involved in something like a group discussion, something like that, or a debate, whatever okay. said and done. That is the other activities. Yeah. Extra curricular or what? Regarding the subject matters itself, they are done it separately. They are done separately. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Sir, are you sending a PDF for notes? Yes. Yes. PDFs, PDF of the presentations as well as whichever are available soft copies will be shared to you. That should not be a constraint. Okay, sir. Yes. Yes, Chandana. Sir? Yes, yes, Pa. Tell us yes, about yes. the packages offered after BFARM. BFARM it's around not less than not less than three. But most of them, most of them after BFARM prefer to do MFARM. Okay, the reason is okay, if at all somebody wants to get you into an RD, I always uh, encourage uh, those students to do their MFARM. And oh, even thank PhD you, sir. Okay, PhD also, in fact, don't stop there mm -hmm. because we do have the PhD at the college. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, pa. please go on. Yes. Uh, Jim in class. Excuse is... me, sir. Sir, yeah, after yeah, the... yeah, tell, tell, tell. Yeah, ma. After the completion of uh, FarmD course, uh, can uh, can we get uh, extra? Oh, what to say? Means, mm -hmm. sir, uh, abroad placement in abroad. Yeah, yeah, but again, I think if I remember. And the different countries, for example, US, you have to take up an exam. If I remember, there is an exam called NAPLEX. Okay. So oh, there sir. are surely opportunities abroad, but again, there is entry level exam is there, which you need to clear so that you start practicing. That's what I remember. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Thank you. Sir. Hmm? Yeah. yeah, any more? Chandana? So, what about textbooks, sir? Yeah, textbooks I told you now, whichever is possible. When you come here, probably you can refer. We have a wonderful library. Okay. Okay. You have got most, most of the books, but in this condition, we'll try to send whatever possible. For example, the notes, okay, or the so PowerPoint. Should you buy a book? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. You need not buy the book. Once you come here, I don't think there is a need for you to buy the book because I think almost three books will be issued in your name. Okay, sir. Yeah, 
ओके मोनिश सर हाउ विल द सर सर एक्सक्यूज मी सर हाउ विल द लैब सेशंस गो ऑन गिवन द करंट सिनेरियो यू मीन टू से लैबोरेटरी यस 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 लैब सेशंस लाइक फॉर फार्मास्यूटिकल्स एंड ऑल नाउ नाउ व्हाट विल हैपन इज इट्स मेनली अ डेमोंस्ट्रेशन बा व्हाट विल हैपन ओके व्हेन यू कम हियर यू कैन प्रैक्टिकली गेट इन व्हाट दैट्स व्हाट आई फील ओके राइट नाउ okay if it is safe i will invite all of you i would like allow to invite all of you uh, to come to the lab but the condition is not so uh, safety yes, is a priority for us that's what i mean yes. to say yes okay? thank you sir thank yes. you so much yeah. yes any more it <laughs> Yes, sir. Excuse me, yeah. sir. Yeah, Palash again. Yeah, tell me. During the on, sir, uh, ah. during the online classes, is we uh, required the textbook? Is it mandatory? What do you mean to say? During during online classes, Palash, uh, I could not. Uh, is ah. the, sir during online classes the textbooks are mandatory or not? may not be mandatory not required okay the presentation will be shared to you whatever we do will be shared to you okay okay sir yes. but we need to make okay. the class notes right class notes it's prefer preferable but when you come okay. here i think uh, you will get the complete idea whichever is available okay. as soft copies we'll try to share that okay mm -hmm. so i have the syllabus with you and uh, you will have the soft copy so you can go through that uh -huh. okay that can be done okay which Most probably sir, the offline classes will start from november right hope so uh, hope so uh, because uh -huh. we also hope to resume okay uh, also yes, want yes. to be come down here okay it will be wonderful yeah, want to yeah. yeah. interacting yes. face to face and interacting online there is a big difference okay. yes 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 i want to i want to convey several things which i'll not be able to do online Yes, yes. Uh, that's a thing like okay yes sir. Yeah. thank you thank you yeah 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 done i feel kirti is still there kirti has so no yeah so do we yes, have sir. language language no doubt sir yeah yeah ma thanks yeah then i think uh, somebody will ask sir do you know kannada sir you surely Sir, do you know Canada? Yes. Why? Okay. Sir, what about Hindi, sir? Uh, Hindi. Yeah, most of my teachers are well versed in Hindi. Okay, that's great for me, sir, as I am from Bombay, sir. Yeah, no problem. Now everything else will come so. Should not. Do you know your destiny? Which part of the world you may go and settle down? Okay, that's a challenge. Be clear. You got to learn languages. Be clear. Yeah. Okay, we'll try to wind up. Okay. Any of uh, Dr. Subhash will be talking about our R and D research and development, and uh, special uh, what you can call it as our uh, research center. What we have, okay, basic science research center. He'll take over. He'll join. You can uh, live from this and join the presentation there through the different link. In fact, which has been shared to you. Thank you all. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 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 Bye. Bye, sir. 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 Okay, sir.
was now Kirkisar. Yeah, Kirkisar. That's what he was connecting from there. Oh, it's continuous. Thanks.